I never thought I'd see this day. The day when I'd be able to leave this place. Lucinda, if you feel you need to stay here, I won't make you go. Picaro no longer needs me. The only reason I was grounded here was because I was solely responsible for Ivan's spirit being bound to this land. It was I who gave him the resources to become stronger, to cause pain to others. It was the greatest guilt I've ever felt. I even felt more guilt when Haley insisted on helping me control the spirit. Not only that, but she took on the lordship of Picaro Village. I often wondered if she did these acts to impress me, which would lead me to feel even more guilt for leaving now. <sighs> I don't know Haley that well, Lucinda. I don't know what her motives are for helping you, but I think you're the only one who can honestly answer that. You're just delaying the inevitable, aren't you? Yes. Honestly, I'm not great with my emotions when it comes to things like this. Then again, I rarely open up to others as I did with you. Then Haley. <laughs> you should go talk to her, Lucinda. Delaying out here with me is only going to make this conversation worse. You're right. You'll be fine. It doesn't matter how physically or magically powerful you are. If you let your emotions get to you, they'll get in your way. The only thing we can do now is try not to let our emotions get the best of us and face them head on. Thank you, Afma. Here I go. Good luck, Lucinda. You'll be fine. Don't hold anything back. <sighs> She'll be fine. I know she will. How are you feeling today? Uh, a little bit better. Has your fever gone down? You could tell? Yeah. It's not bad at all today. I think it might have just been a side effect of helping Travis or maybe a result from the cold weather from before. I'm sorry to make you worry. I thought I hit it well. You did. Thanks for asking. So, what do you think? Of what? Uh, well, Lucinda, do you think adding her to our group is a wise choice? Why do you ask? You're the one who sought her out. Um, it's... It's just... Pretty much everyone I once knew, I sometimes forget how much they've grown. They have people to care about now and responsibilities to uphold. <laughs> I guess I remember when it was just me who was responsible for all of them in one village. It's just such a satisfying feeling seeing how far they've come and how much of they've, they've grown. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess I just feel like I'm taking Lucinda away from her responsibilities. Lucinda can decide that for herself. You have to trust that people will do what they feel is best. You can't be responsible for their actions if it is their own choice. Hmm. Putting your trust in someone means that you trust they can take care of themselves and that they can ask for help if needed. Remember that. How do you stay in control of your emotions, Aaron? <laughs> After everything you've been through. Are you still thinking about... I'm older than you by a few years. <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. I'm here. What? Just trust me. Uh, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Lawrence and Travis. We'll catch up on this later. Alright? Very well. Uh, Isabel? Lawrence? Isabel? Isabel, I wanted to apologize for what you saw me become before. What are you? It's 
very difficult to explain, and I don't want to scare you. You couldn't scare me more than what I had already experienced before. I am a Shadow Knight, just one who learned of his power. A Shadow Knight? I'm sorry. Like I said, it's hard to explain. No, it's not. I know what you are. <laughs> Years ago, there was a lady named Amethyst here in Picaro Village. I used to visit her often because she was like a grandmother to me, almost a mother. At some point, she had become enraged by the, the passing of her husband. They were both in their golden years, so it was an inevitable event. It was then she showed me a power, all too similar to what you have, not only not as strong. Amethyst, I remember her. What? You've met her? Fifteen years ago, yes, I did. Again, explaining my age is a long story as well. Regardless, I accept your apology. However, I want to ask you something. Anything. Take me with you. Back to your village. Please. I'm afraid I don't understand why you're asking this, and I'm afraid to question you. It's just, I... I understand I might have gotten you out of a dire situation with your ex-fiancé. However, I don't want you to misinterpret that as... No, that's not it! I didn't mean to make you think I had feelings! Uh, then why the sudden request? The way you asked it? I have no interest in relationships at the moment. Not after what I've been through. However, my parents are no better. I want to start over somewhere new. Somewhere I can be accepted and grow to be a better person. Please, take me with you in your group, to wherever you're from. That way, I can learn to be a better person myself. I have no qualms with this, though understand that my companions have no set home as of yet. We are still looking for a place to call ours. Until then, we are simply stationed in Phoenix Drop. Know that if you do come with us and my companions agree to it, then you might have to move again. Anything. I want to forget this place. I want to forget the man I thought I loved. I understand. Let me speak with my travel companions, and I'll return to you with an answer. I want to live for myself, as Lucinda once did. Thank you, Lawrence. And... Your apology is accepted. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Were you listening to our conversation? Uh, well, I, I was looking for you and I happened to just overhear. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> How does it feel to be on the opposite end of this conversation? Uh, what? What do you mean? You always find me listening in on your conversations, yet this is the first time I've caught you listening in on mine. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Trust me, I meant no disrespect, nor did I mean to listen, it's just... it just... happened. Well, in any case... Did you hear Isabel's request? Uh, I sure did. And and I have no issue with her joining us back to Phoenix Drop if she's looking to improve her life. However, I'd rather her not get involved with the matters that we deal with. I don't want her to get tangled up in our struggles before she's ready to stand on her own two feet. Understandable. I agree as well. I can only imagine what she's been through. If there's any way we can help her, then we should. I'll give her the news then. Sounds good. Uh, by the way, Lawrence, how are you feeling? I 
see you've been able to go in and out of your Shadow Knight form. Eh? Well, it's not easy. I wasn't able to change back immediately after we found you fainted in the forest. Um, uh, it's a scary feeling. I see. Hey, Lawrence, um, pardon me for asking this, but the red eyes. I thought that was a trait that was only found in Shadow Knights who've killed the person most meaningful to them. Hmm? Oh, that. For those who have done that deed, that's a permanent trait. It doesn't go away even after we've transformed. I was going to ask. I couldn't help but notice that you had them before. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, have you seen Travis, by the way? Ah, I think he might be at the local tavern or Lucinda's. Is he okay? I'm not sure. I think he might be shaken up after being wrongly accused, but he seemed fine. Though, deep down, you never know. I don't want to make the assumption he's fine. Hmm. I see. I'm gonna go check on him then. You take care of Isabel, alright? Will do. Hmm. <sighs> alright, Travis. Let's see. Well, he should be fine, I hope. At least. <sighs> I would hope he would be okay. We'll see. Travis? Travis, are you here? Up here. Oh, all right. Travis? Hey! Uh, what's going on? Just looking around. Oh, I see. <laughs> kind of figured you'd be at the tavern. Here, there's all kinds of lovely ladies there. Yeah, believe me, I'll be there. It's just... Just what? Lucinda's a witch. I've yet to meet a witch or warlock. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, well, you're in luck then. Lucinda's the nicest kind. Then again, aren't you yourself a warlock? Yes, but I don't want to have anything to do with that part of me. Is it because of your father? Yes. I don't want to embrace that side of me, and I try so very hard to remove myself far from it. Though, here in Lucinda's home, I feel comfortable. All these spells and potions. It's weird. It's a part of who you are. Yes, but I hate him. It feels demeaning to me. Travis, you can't be upset at who you are. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, to me, it seems like you're just going to make things worse. It's not like I'm purposely suppressing that side. I just don't want to get involved in witchcraft. Not to say I don't feel comfortable around it. So, if you don't practice witchcraft, then... Why do you carry around that book? My mother gave it to me. She said it might be useful in certain situations. I've never touched the teachings of witchcraft and just don't want to. But the book helps in dire situations. It allows me to manipulate and know everything I need for a small period of time. I see. Lucinda probably knows more about what it is than I do, honestly. Which is why I'm waiting here for her. To show her the book? No, to get the book back from her. She took it when she imprisoned me. Oh, well, then, I mean, you may have it back after I'm finished taking a look at it. Uh, Lucinda! I, whoa, I'm sorry, I didn't... The one and only. Now, Travis, I would like to look over this book. Uh, you can't. It only opens for me and the pages only I can read. I've noticed that. However, I'm not so much interested in the inside as I am the out. I just would like a few moments to study it. Uh, well, uh, Lucinda, you can't keep the book from him, honestly. It belongs and... Do as you will, then. 
Just give it back when you're done. I'm headed off to the tavern. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, Travis, uh, okay. Um, we'll see you later, I guess. Uh, um, sorry about that, Lucinda. I know he... <laughs> Believe it or not, he's actually really calm, considering he's a demon and a warlock. Uh, really, I'm quite impressed. He lived alone for a long time, from what I have heard, and saw myself, so... Yeah. Which can be calming to the soul. Hmm. So, um, how did things go with Haley? She's happy. She's so very happy for me. <laughs> Lucinda, that's wonderful! I'm the only one who's afraid of letting her go. Lucinda. <laughs> She's going to make an amazing lord now that she has time to focus on it. <laughs> oh, Lucinda. I... <laughs> no time for tears! Want to get back to Phoenix Drop? Uh, if you're ready. But... Perfect! Let's start making the spell that will teleport this whole house there. I still have the old coordinates. Want to help me? Uh, I'd love to, but I... I'm sorry, I don't know witchcraft, so I don't know what help I could be. Are you kidding me? Huh? What do you mean? Afmau, you were able to use Travis's tome. You have the ability to use witchcraft. We just need to foster it. Well, don't stand around. Come help me get ready. D oh, right. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 